All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are well and preach the truth and truly sincerity. Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today's lesson is going to be entitled, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And pretty much, um, you know, this, the title of this lesson is inspired by Luke, the 21st chapter, and the 28th verse. But I don't want to start up uh, uh, at verse 25 because, A, you know, today is uh, April 8th, 2024, a uh, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And um, the the solar eclipse just came to pass. We just seen it in uh, its totality. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm going to uh, check what time it is real quick. So, like, you forgive me. So, so like it. right now it is about, it is 3.24 uh, p.m. Eastern time. We just saw the eclipse uh, coming. It's a totality about, mm, I want to say maybe about a good 10, 15 minutes ago. But, hey, you know, the scriptures speak upon how, you know, the, 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 you know, the sun and the moon, those are all set up. You know, stars, they were all set up as signs in heaven, right? Also, we would see certain things happen with the moon and the sun leading up to our Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai's return, right? And A, what else was crazy about it is um, um, when when it came in its totality, it was like a, a, a red, a red, amber, it was like an amber colored um, um, light, man, which also, hey, us brothers, man, we believe that to be a chariot of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, but hey, man, hey, hey, thing, things are coming, all right, to the end, all right, to, to this wicked kingdom, man. All right, you know, the plagues, man, all right, various different judgments that Yahweh Bashim Yashai has set up, all right, for the earth, primarily Babylon, the great known as America. All right, so ultimately, hey, we in that time, man, you know? So uh, let's start here at the book of uh, Luke, chapter 21, beginning in verse 25. And these are words of the red letters, so these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, and there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with, perplex with perplexity. It says the sea and the waves roaring. So, right, so ultimately, because Luke, the 21st chapter, is also going to tokens that we would see come to pass leading up to the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai just said, what? There should be signs in the sun and in the moon. And we just seen one of those signs coming to pass in the form of the solar eclipse. All right? So, ultimately, we would see certain things take place in the heavens that pertain to the ordinances that Yahweh Bashmi Shai set up. You know, whether it be the sun, the moon, or the stars, which would ultimately let us know that we're approaching the very end of this kingdom, man. Verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and look and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, right? So ultimately, people are going to be having heart attacks, man. And ultimately, a majority of the world, man, is going to be overcome by fear, right? It says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken going to what? The current rules of this world. Why? Because ultimately, with these various different signs coming to pass, um, that is a sign unto them that their kingdom uh, is falling. All right, what does uh, 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 Second Edges the sixteenth chapter say? I want to get I want to get a quick point out of Second Edges sixteen. I'm going to show you that the powers that be are going to be in fear. All right, when it comes to these things coming to pass, right? Um, I'm jumping straight to the point. Second Edges chapter sixteen, verse seventeen, beginning verse seventeen. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who delivered me in those days? And this is the prophet Ezra speaking. You know, he's seeing a vision. Uh, he's seeing these various different visions play out, man. He's seeing the plagues come to pass in the last days. He's seeing the judgments like Yahweh Bashmi Ashai touch the earth. And he's seeing how bad it is. And he's like, well, you know, who, who's going to deliver me in those days? Because that's how bad it's going to get. And like he said, who shall deliver me in those days? Meaning Ezra is back here today. Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, and here's the point, and the powers shall stand in fear. Right? It says the powers shall stand in fear, meaning the current rulers of this world, which so happens to be uh, the elites of Esau, Edom. They're going to stand in fear because ultimately all these various different plagues and judgments and signs coming to pass is letting them know that their kingdom is coming to its very end. Right? It says the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right? Now jumping back to uh, Luke 21. In uh, verse 27, it says, this shall they, 
And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory, which ultimately as Son of Man is talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai. And what is that cloud speaking of, man? Those chariots, man. All right, let's grab this real quick. In the book of um, Psalms 104 and verse 3. It says, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So a lot of times throughout the scriptures, hey, you know, uh, 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 clouds all right, are uh, uh, metaphorical for chariots, man. Okay. And let's grab this in the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds, which we established those clouds, according to the book of Psalms 104, is going to what? The chariots. It says... <laughs> And every eye shall see him. Who is that him talking about? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. And they also which pierced him. So the, the, those who pierced our Lord Yahweh Shai back then, the Romans who pierced our Lord Yahweh Shai back then, okay, they're back here today through reincarnation to receive their judgment, man. Right? It says, And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so I must. So ultimately, hey, hey, the world is going to... Uh, 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 be fearful and well at the sight of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see, because you know, you know, uh, majority of the world has been raised up in in, in uh, Westernized Christianity, and they've been uh, uh, uh um, they've been they've been uh, uh made to think that ultimately the Messiah is a so-called white man with uh blue eyes, a long stringy blonde dog hair, right? But ultimately, hey, you know. The Lord, when he appears, man, hey, we're going to see a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Right? So, awesome. That, 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 that's the reason why everybody is going to a uh, 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 well, man. And really, you know, because the Lord, he's bringing destruction. That's the main reason people are going to be willing. Because, you know, a, a, the day of the Lord, man, it's not as the uh, Christian church is painted out to be. You know, all peaches, roses, sunshine, a so-called white man, you know, popping out the clouds of heaven, right? Uh, holding hands with everybody, seeing Kumbaya, talking about something, coming to my arms, brothers and sisters. Nah. What's going to, what's, what, what, hey, who's going to appear in that day? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, which ultimately the whole world will see a, a an angry so-called black man are with the angels of heaven, with the chariots of heaven. Right, coming to do destruction on America, man. Okay. Um going back to Luke chapter 21 and um verse 28, and here's the point. It says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draw with nigh. So ultimately, when we see these various different things, these signs and tokens come to pass guess what also we know that our, our redemption draweth not that salvation is near so knowing that our salvation is near guess what man hey hey we hey we gotta you know hey hey strap up our boots man all right and, and keep enduring man walking that tightrope no because hey yeah how was i said wait he that endured to the end the same shall be saved and we at the end man because ultimately these things coming to pass these signs and wonders in heaven okay these are our end time signs man you know um, let's grab this in the book of, um, Joel, uh, chapter two and verse 31, it says the, well, it started, uh, verse 30, it says, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in earth in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible before the great and the terrible day of the Lord coming. We just seen that come to pass, man. The sun turned into darkness. All right, we just we just experienced our right, nighttime during the day. All right, the Lord had the sun be turned into darkness. So ultimately, this is something we would see come to pass. All right, before the day of the Lord, man. And knowing what we just witnessed, okay, that lets us know that the day of the Lord is very near and closer than we think. Actually, you know, um. Let's grab this in the book of um, Jeremiah, chapter 10, beginning in verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen. And here's the point. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. What are those signs of heaven, man? The sun, the moon, the stars, so on and so forth. Because, hey, when you go back into the book of uh, Genesis chapter 1, okay, and uh, beginning in verse 14, it says, And power said 
uh, which also that word God in the Hebrew is Alahayim, which translates to powers, rulers, judges, divine ones. Right, so also that's going to what Yahweh Shai and the angels. You can read Colossians, the first chapter, um, or, or verse uh, 12 on down to show you that Yahweh Shai, all right, he created everything, man. You know, it says, and power said, all right, and Allah Hayim said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And ultimately, what, 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 what light rules over the day? The sun, and ultimately, what light rules over the night? The moon. And, and the Allah Hayim said what? And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years, excuse me, and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven, of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so, so also A D, the sun, the moon, the stars, they have all been set up, okay, uh, in, in the heavens as for signs, seasons, days, and years. And did we not just read in Joel, the second chapter, that also the sun would be darkened? Right. Once again, that that is exactly what we just experienced. So jumping back to uh, Jeremiah. Chapter. Ten and uh, we read verse two again, I want to get the word dismayed. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right. Now going to that word dismayed. It's the Hebrew word, uh, uh, chathath, It says to be shattered, be dismayed, be broken, be abolished, be afraid. So, ultimately, we're not supposed to be afraid. Hey, like, like our Lord, how should I say, hey, we're, hey, we're supposed to uh, be lifting up our heads, man. Since our, uh, because our redemption draweth not. And, um, um. I believe Yahweh Shai says something along the same lines in the Matthew 24 chapter about not being afraid. Um. Yeah, yeah, Matthew 24 and 6. Uh, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. So ultimately, when we see these various different signs coming to pass, man, whether it be the wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilences, right, famines, right, solar eclipses, so on and so forth, we're not supposed to be troubled. Why? Because Yahweh Shai says this. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So also we understand that these things must come to pass in order for Yahweh Shai's kingdom to be established upon the earth, man. And we're among that number who is hastening the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Like it says in 2 Peter the third chapter. All right, so also when it comes to these, you know, signs, when it comes to these various different events, such as the, you know, the solar eclipse, you know, any signs in heaven, also, you know, we're not supposed to be dismayed or be afraid of those things, man. You know? Um... Second Peter chapter three and um uh Salaki, give me one second. All right, 13 minutes. Uh second Peter chapter three and uh verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So ultimately the Lord, he's gonna Catch everybody off guard, man. He, the Lord is returning right when everyone least expects it, right? It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, man. Going to what? The nuclear destruction, man. This current rulership, man, this current heaven is going to go out by way of the nuclear destruction, man. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So ultimately, everything you see around you, all right, the homes, all right, the cars, the various different buildings, restaurants, people. All right, the wickedness, all right, of this land in general. Guess what, man? It's going to be burned up, man. You know, ultimately, Yahweh Bashmi Yashai is getting ready to establish righteousness in the earth, man. And a new world, a new heaven, and a new earth is going to be uh, ordered by righteousness, man, as we get into it. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought she to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So seeing all these things are going to come to pass, seeing these things are going to happen according to prophecy, what manner of persons are we to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, when you go into that word conversation, should be the Greek word uh, anastrophe. Yep. I slack you. Let's grab, let's put it up again. The Greek word anastrophe, it says manner of life, conduct, behavior. So ultimately, we ought to be 
patterning our manner of life or our behavior after the scriptures. And, and, and very important, most importantly, teaching the true doctrine of Yahweh by Shemi Ashai. Right? Because ultimately, hey, that also, conversation can also go into doctrine. You see, because ultimately, hey, teaching false doctrine, that's with, that's filthy conversation, man. Because ultimately, if you teach a false doctrine, you're teaching and doing things contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemi Ashai. Right? So, like, like, like the word uh, uh, conversation goes into, manner of life. And behavior, conduct. So ultimately, our a hey, our thing is to be obedient to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai to the best of our ability. All right, and ultimately hey, do this work like he commanded us, man. All right? Uh verse 12, second Peter 3 and 12. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, which is going to take place uh, by way of what? The nuclear destruction. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, which you can find that promise in uh, Isaiah uh, 65th chapter, all right, I believe it's uh, verse 17 on down. It says, uh, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So ultimately, we see these things coming to pass, man, a solar eclipse, man, and these various different signs of heaven. All right. Our hope is that what the destruction of this wicked kingdom is closer than ever. And ultimately, a, 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 the, the kingdom of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which by default makes it the kingdom of Israel. Right, we're we're praying that that is is uh, established on earth, all right, speedily, man, as soon as possible, all right. And ultimately, hey, this is gonna be a new heaven and a new earth, all right, a kingdom, a rulership, ran by righteousness, man, ran by the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh by Shmuel all right. Which ultimately, hey, in, in the kingdom, man, look, we we gonna have we gonna have uh those new incorruptible bodies, man, those immortal bodies, man, all right, bodies to where we cannot sin. Right, so hey, in the kingdom, man, hey, Deuteronomy the fourth chapter, man, that's gonna come to full effect, man. When the heathens will see us keep the law, statutes, and commandments, say Yahweh Bashim Yashai, they will marvel at us and wonder what great nation is this that has the most high soul night unto them, man. That's that's gonna come to fruition in the kingdom. Right? So seeing all these things come to pass, hey, we 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 know salvation is near. We know the 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 the, the, the new bodies are near, man. Right, we know the new covenant is near. Right? All we got to do is endure and stay faithful to the end. It says, uh, verse 14, it says, and here's also what you got to do. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that she look for such things, be diligent that she may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So ultimately, hey, if you're looking to obtain all right, the, these blessings, such as salvation, right, eternal life, right, the kingdom, rulership over the nations guess what we got to be diligent meaning what we got to continue in this work man right continue in the things which we have learned and hey our lord yahweh shai said what well, occupied so he returns man you know so ultimately we got we got to stay in this work man stay doing the things that's pleasing to yahweh bash me shai right that's what we got to do man if we look for such things man if we and if we want to obtain these things man right and um Let's grab this in the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse beginning verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, because ultimately the signs are around us are perfectly clear. See, the sign, like the scripture saying in Romans 15 chapter, the things written the fourth time are written for our learning. And ultimately, a, the, the, these signs pertaining to the end of this current kingdom were written long ago before we were born into, this, born, uh, born into the earth, man, in this life, man. You know, so once again, the things written the fourth time ran for our learning. So ultimately, we uh take the signs, all right, that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai are spoke of in the scriptures, all right, and that's that's how we measure the times diligently, man. Right? That's why Apostle Paul said, But the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, because with the signs all right, being available unto us in scripture, right? Ultimately, the signs are very clear that we're at the end. Verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Like what we read in 2 Peter the third chapter. The day of the Lord is going to catch a lot of individuals off guard, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, it says, Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape, man. So there's no escaping the plagues, all right? And the judgments that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is bringing upon the earth in these last days. And, 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 and if you're not of the elect, man, it sure as hell ain't no way. To escape the ultimate judgment that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is bringing upon America in the form of the nuclear destruction, man. There's no escaping that if you're not of the elect, man. 
you know, so also hey, when people think, you know, everything's all fine and dandy, you know, things are back to normal, then boom, sudden destruction. Well, let's see what that word sudden means. It says uh, unexpected, sudden, unforeseen, and the, the destruction that's coming is un uh, unexpected or unforeseen to the majority of the individual on the face of the earth. Why? Because they're not paying attention, man. All right, they're, they're, they're too focused, you know, on, on, on the latest basketball highlights. All right, the drama going on, a rap, you know, P. Diddy, you know, all this bullshit, you know, which are all distractions set up, all right, to keep you uh, dumbed down, man. Right, so also, hey, that's why it's going to come unexpected upon the majority of the world, man, because they're not, they're not paying attention to the signs. All right, but as far as us, man, as far as the hopefully elect, man, and we're looking for these things to come to pass, man. You know, so, hey, I'm going to close out right there. You know, Lord's Walk, uh put a short clip I uh, took uh, with the solar eclipse. Um, man, without further ado, man, I pray that you were edified. You know, I pray that you got something out of this. And without further ado, I would like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to hopefully elect. Lord's will I see in the next lesson. Till then. Hey, man. Call the law me. I will watch me outside. Shit, you got motherfuckers screaming and celebrating in the background. But, hey, this the end of Esau fucking kingdom. And live it up like Lamentations, the fourth chapter, say. Oh, where it at? Salakia. There it go. Call the law me. I will watch me outside.